Hello guys, it has been a while, er, not a while, you've seen me like a couple days ago, and I'm well aware of the, if you see my la latest video, I'm well aware of it, how it's landscape. <laughs> it's not landscaped, it's portrait, right, yeah, portraits up and down, now, yeah, I realized that a moment I was watching it, like, because I was trying to get a video so I can put it on, or a pic screenshot so I can put it on my Snapchat, and or Instagram but it <laughs> turned out funny <laughs> so this video is hopefully not gonna be that way but what I want to talk about is the Nike um, what, what is it called shit the whole Nike backlash I guess with uh, Colin Kaepernick uh, the ad campaign, I guess. So, I mean, from what I've seen all over Facebook, <laughs> holy hell, mill or thousands of people are burning their Nike shoes in protest. <laughs> like, what? Why? <laughs> I understand. I don't... I don't agree with it. Like, you're wasting your time and your money that you spent. Some of the Nike shoes out there cost upwards to <laughs> hundreds of dollars. And the fact that you're burning said Nikes, really, why? Like, I have a, I've got a few, a collection of Nikes myself. Am I going to burn them? No. Am I going to get rid of them? No. I'm just going to sit here on my shelf collecting dust. <laughs> no, in real talk, but uh, I'll wear them. Just won't burn them. Because that's, I spent a lot of money on some of them, so, yeah, no, I am not burning them at all, like, no, idiots. Like, even though I don't agree with what Calvin Kaepernick is standing for, and under, I don't agree with Nike supporting it, but at the end of the day, we all have our own beliefs, but the way his came across, everyone hates I understand, but in protest of the national anthem, I understand you're trying to do something for, like, pre police brutality or whatever, but the national anthem is for our troops, more or less. A little more, I'm, if I can remember correctly. And the moment you don't do nothing to show support for those who risk their lives making sure you have freedom, or the ones that sacrificed their, yes, ones that risked their lives and or sacrificed their lives who don't get to come home. And if they do, they're in a coffin and their families are distraught and that's not a good situation. So for the fact for someone or whole NFL team to not support that, teams are just, why? Just, I understand that police brutality is an issue, but don't make it a problem for our troops, you know? Like, you still want to support our troops, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have football. We wouldn't have any of the stuff they're doing for us. Just saying. Coming from a non <laughs> I've have I've had military in my family for a long time, and eventually I want to, before the age of 27, obviously, like, join the Marines. When I'll join, I don't know. It's, it's been a thought in my head since I was a child. I've always wanted to be like my great-grandfathers. Because both of them were in the military. One was in the Navy. I'm pretty sure my dad's was in the Army, or is he Marine? One of the two. I'd have to ask. I'm pretty sure he was in the Army. Is either that or... I know my, my mom's great-grandpa, or my mom's grandpa was in the Navy. And I've worn his old Navy uniform at, when I was a kid. Man... Uniforms have changed, but seriously, for the National Anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance or whatever, it's not, you should be able to support our troops. You know, put your hand over your heart, take your hat off, or if you're in the military or you just got out of the military and you're reserved, salute. Do what you do for the military. The National Anthem is for our troops, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> and our freedom as a country what freedom we have left at least because everyone's gonna be disagreeing with me that we don't have a lot of freedom which understandable with the way 
everyone's being spied on nowadays. But it doesn't matter. That That's for our troops, you know. National Anthem, you stand, you support our troops. Pretty much it. <laughs> you show them the respect they deserve. Because, like I said, they're risking their lives for our freedom. And for us to sleep safely at night. Making sure nothing bad happens. Well, I can't say <laughs> nothing bad happens. Trying their best to make sure nothing bad happens on our soil. Does that make sense? Okay. So, now. Stop being assholes. Stand up, support our troops. It's not that simple. All right, wait, it is that simple. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And another thing I want to address to the to the dumb assholes and cunts who think it's funny to burn and step on our flag. You know that does piss off our military, right? They're fighting for that flag and for this country, and the fact that you're burning it and stomping on it you do deserve to get your ass kicked by some marines or god forbid the mil uh, the army but you know like anybody like i've seen so many videos of marines or anyone in the military just stopping people from stepping on our flag and burning it and in one instance i've seen one marine beat the shit out of 10 people at once Granted, they were, like, my size, like, super skinny and stuff, but still, <laughs> that Marine beat the shit out of these ten people. <laughs> so, again, just, there's things in this country you just shouldn't fuck with. The flag is one thing, and I don't give a shit if you're, if you don't like the Confederate flag or anything. That's part of history. Just accept it. I don't, if you're an African American, it's understandable why you don't like it, but it's still history. We, If we don't stop doing what we're doing now, we're just going to end up repeating all of it. Because a wise person once told me history has a funny way of repeating itself. And look at what we're happening now. It's slowly repeating itself. Remember what happened in the 60s? Exactly it's happening now, except more violent. And yeah, let's just stop what we're doing. Appreciate the things we have. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but I think someone got into an accident. I'm not sure. I don't care. <laughs> but seriously, just appreciate things. Don't mess with the American flag, and don't mess with the national anthem. That was her. Just, just don't. Because what happens if... Okay, let's put this into perspective. If, like, you can understand and relate. Let's say, for those of you watching... You have a family member you're super close with, like a son, Ryan, you're going to have to wait, I'm making a video. A son, a daughter, a father, a grandson, something like that, along those lines, that joined the military and they died, sacrificing themselves to make sure you're safe. Are you still going to be an hypocrite? Are you still be that asshole that stomps on the American flag that doesn't stand for our national anthem and doesn't support our troops? I probably think you will change that quickly. Just saying. So, like I said, respect our troops. Don't fuck with the flag. Because that's our national symbol, besides the bald eagle. But still, just just stop fucking with America. You know, like, Americans are just too busy either destroying... Ryan, I'm going to fucking punch you. <laughs> you seen this, Ryan? I'm gonna fucking punch you. Next time you're in Mason, I'm gonna punch you. I'm busy. But... Yeah, just... There's stuff you just don't want to fuck with. Our country is just divided based on our president, and he's our president regardless. I mean, I voted for a dead gorilla for president, because... <laughs> come on. But... Just stop. His term... Has it been four years? It's 2018. Doesn't he have one? Tomorrow's next year's election year, right? Or is it 2016? I am so confused. I am lost. No, 2020, right? 2020 is our next election year. Just accept that he's our president. He made me stupid stuff. He made tweet stupid things, but that doesn't mean he's not our president. Someone, his wife should take his phone away from him. That's what she should be doing. 
<laughs> if I was president, I would expect my wife or girlfriend to take my phone from me, like, so I don't say something stupid on the internet <laughs> that will haunt me, as this video probably will, but I don't know. So, to recap, what did we learn today, kids? Don't fuck with our troops. Support them. Don't fuck with the flag. Fuck it, let's throw in just don't shoot eagles. Don't shoot bald eagles or falcons or anything. Don't don't fuck with American symbolism, assholes. Wow. And for all of you burning your Nike shoes, why burn them? Fuck. Just mess email me or something and I'll send them to me. I'll take them. <laughs> they may not fit, but that doesn't mean I can't sell them. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably will sell them. The ones I don't I don't like are the ones I don't fit me, I'll just sell them for half the price that way it makes me easy money and you guys can just get rid of your nike shoes and protest so yeah this video has gone on 10 minutes almost 11 so i'll see you guys in the next video and i don't know when that'll be but sometime soon see you guys